Y'all know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right, we're out here in Fairdale on West Man's Lick Road at Shack in the Back Barbecue. I've been here once before. I did a, a COVID parking lot review, you might remember, uh, with Coach Henley, the basketball coach at Eastern High School, and my friend Jason Walker. We were set up right back here in the parking lot, and I, they were limited on the menu at that time because they were just working out of a little trailer. So I said back then, when they got set up in their full brick and mortar restaurant, that we're gonna come back and do a full review. All right, speaking of the brick and mortar, originally Shack in the Back was out close to the Snyder Freeway, right off a of new cut, and it was in an old 1800s log cabin that had been refurbished into a restaurant. Well, a couple years ago, I guess they sold the property and that building got tore down and they relocated over here. It used to be a bank and it's a lot bigger and they poured a ton of money into this place, fixing it up and renovating. And I went in a few minutes ago, it looks really good. Now, of course you see, we've got Ryan back in action. Uh, he was about on a three week hiatus, getting his own YouTube channel going. Go ahead and give your uh, channel a little plug here, Ryan. Yeah. Don't forget to check out Keep It Cool With Sheets. Jay and I, we've been doing some reviews. We're starting out fast food working our way up, see what we can do. And uh, eventually we'll do brick and mortar, but you know, we just want to make sure that we're doing good content before we get, but it'll be fun. All right, well, make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell for my channel, and especially hit the subscribe button notification bell for Keep It Cool with Sheets. Yeah, because all right. It's that time, that time again. Keep it cool with Sheets. There's this jingle. All right, you heard it here first, folks. All right, let's go ahead and get him to the 1,000 subscribers real quick. I think the last we looked, he was at 700. So let's go ahead and get him to 1,000, get him monetized. All right, I haven't eaten since 6 o'clock last night. It's now 3.30 in the afternoon, and I'm about ready to drop kick somebody. So we got to get in here. Oh, and stick around for the end of the review. We got a young lady over here that's set up selling Girl Scout cookies. So stick around, I'm gonna be reviewing a couple of Girl Scout cookies for dessert at the end. Well, we are in for a treat because we got to sit upstairs in their loft. They got a few tables up here. That way we won't disturb anybody. See, they got a full stock bar, widescreen TV. If you want to come over here and watch UK during the NCAA tournament, this looks like a really cool place to come hang out. All right, I'm going to lead you around and show you the rest of this place. Main dining room. They got some cozy, cool looking booths over there. And if you got a big party, like eight or 10, you got a nice corner booth and a nice gargantua sized patio out here it's actually nice enough it's 66 degrees today i could have sat out here but the noise from the main road out here might interfere with my video so we decided to go ahead and eat upstairs they even got the outdoor bar here this has turned out to be really good when you know weather getting warm and everything you can come chill out here before we get started I want to show you, I brought my Grace with me, Saved by Grace. And also, with barbecue, I want to experiment with this extra hot Tabasco. Ryan says he wants to give it a sample here before we get going to see if he's going to put it on his food or not. That's so. a good smell. Good aroma. Oh, 
Oh, he ain't playing. Oh, yeah. Well, that'll tell you right off the bat. Sneaking up in the back. Yeah, that's, that's got a kick to it. Very good flavor, though. These are the potato boats. They've got brisket. Come with some sour cream and some, I think they call it white lightning, like a ranch. I'll try it without first. Yeah, it sounds like a spicy ranch and a white lightning sauce. The skin's good and crispy. Get a little bit of this. Well, not a little bit. There you go. Have, have you a nice dollop of sour cream on that thing. Mm -hmm. Is that some of the white lightning? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. That's really good. Kind of sweet. Now, there you go, showing off. And I'm going to add a decent amount. I'm going to see. There you go. Thank you, young lady. Oh, yeah. Did that extra hot Tabasco complete you? Mm hmm. <laughs> you got to try it with the. All the toppings on oh, it. Oh, don't you worry. I'm delicious. Okay. All right. Now, a word from my sponsor. Welcome to Billy Bob's Barbecue and Amish Deli. It's a little country store with a whole lot to offer, so let's go in and see what they got. They've got homemade Amish jellies, pickles, jams, and honey and sorghum. They've got local Amish-made lunch meats and cheeses. And don't forget the award-winning Kansas City Gourmet Barbecue. Y'all don't know nothing about this Amish liver cheese and homemade sourdough bread. And don't forget about the homemade Amish fried apple pie. Just a 30 minute drive outside Louisville. It's veteran owned and y'all don't know nothing about this Billy Bob's barbecue and Amish deli. Ryan's gonna let me try his appetizer. Of course, I gotta do it just like he did. I like the style. I'm looking forward to those wings. Looks like a generous amount. Mm -hmm. I want the full effect, just like Ryan had. Absolutely incredible. That smoky brisket gives it a great taste. And then it kind of blends in well with the with that spicy ranch. Kind of just blend and complement each other perfectly. Alright. So while you got the hammer rolling, I'm gonna go ahead and try one of these smoky wings. It looks like it comes with the house sauce maybe i'm not sure i didn't ask but here we go b is a victory nice smoky flavor that sauce has a little sweetness to it but ryan pointed something out to me earlier on this hot barbecue it actually has anchovy in it I don't know if any of y'all have ever seen in other videos before, but I love anchovies. So this is going to be perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and put that on there too. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. My technique kind of lacking today. That's some good sauce there. It's got some sweetness in it. 
It's not the heat. It is, it is hot. And I can barely just taste that hint of anchovy in there. Nice combination of flavor there. Okay, Ryan's going to give his two cents on the wings. See what he thinks. Looks really good. Looks like it got a good crispy texture. I'm not sure if they flash fry these or not. They might just be crispy off right off the smoke. It's a really good smoky flavor. I mean, that's and the bar, the sauce on it. I think it's a sweet barbecue. And let me just say, show that wing. Uh, that killed it. They see that pinkness there. That's not undercooked. When I just need to point this out again, smoked meats have a, a, a pinkish tint inside. That's what the smoke does to it. So these are done. It's so good. I wish I could eat the bones, but I can't. So. <laughs> Oh, you know me, I gnaw the gristle off the end of them. That's the best part for me. We're going to start off. I heard their baked beans are like supposed to be the best in town. So I'm going to start with that first. Mm. And the server, she told me that potato salad was homemade in-house and also a crowd favorite. Beans and potato salad, she said, were the, the crowd favorites on the sides. Speaking of sides, I see Ryan got the green beans. You know, I'm not big into healthy food, but I got to I gotta at least try the green beans. So, sorry about that. You know, everybody said I was trifling reaching in with my hands, so I remedied it. Thank you, Chris Todd. Mm. Those beans are terrific. Now on the potato salad. Mm. By the way, those beans, those are barbecue baked beans because I taste some barbecue sauce in there and a little smokiness. And this potato salad is right on time. I'm tasting the onion. And there's some other things going on in there too. Maybe celery. Does that one have hard boiled egg in it? Or is that something that only? I think it does. And it's a mayonnaise and a mustard base. I know it's got chives in it. And you know what? I think it does have egg. I love a good deviled egg potato salad. All right, so I tried the sides first because they are well known for those sides. Now I got two different sliders. I got pork and brisket. So I'm pretty sure this is the pork, shredded pork slider. Oh, let me get some of my grace on there. You know what you're missing though, don't you? What's that? Good old hunk of onion. Yeah, you're right. Some pickle and onion would have been good with that. I guess you gotta ask for it. Anyway, look at there. It's a nice looking little slider there. Let's see what this whole pork's made of. Very good. Moist, not dried out. Whole pork tends to dry out a lot if it's been sitting for a little bit. This is right on time. Now a word from my sponsor. Shop secondhand first with Peddler's Mall. New products are added daily by our vendors. Vintage, antiques, uniques, furniture, clothing, collectibles, crafts, gifts, oddities, home decor, and more. Hundreds of vendors in every location. You never know what you will find. Interested in becoming a vendor? Contact us today. 18 locations across Kentucky, Indiana, Ohio, and West Virginia. Open seven days a week. Okay. What you got there, buddy? This is a turkey rib. I went for the turkey ribs because they're supposed to be a little bit leaner. And uh, you know, I didn't want to review a salad as some people have said that I should do. So, without further ado. And I do know that they are well known around town for their turkey ribs. 
Now, is that actually the rib out of a turkey? I don't know, but man, that is good. And you know, I was afraid thinking turkey would be dry. This thing comes right off. It's like a pork rib. And it's it's good smoky flavor. I'm gonna try it with a little bit of this uh, white lightning, I think what they called it. Mm-hmm. Bam. That was a cat that was a cat and quint move. I don't think these ribs really need the ranch, but you know, I gotta try it if it's here. Mm-hmm. So, you know. I'll eat what's left of my green beans since you Yeah, no, stole no, I've already sampled your green beans, but go ahead and give me your take. I can tell you this much. I got a nice smoky flavor to them. Yeah, they definitely got a smoky flavor. You know, when you get the canned green beans and they taste salty from all the preservatives, and you get fresh green beans, man, you cannot go wrong with some good fresh green beans. And then time for the musical fruit. Man, beans, a moment. beans, good for your heart. <laughs> the more you eat, forget it. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's what Jay said the other day. He goes, man, I won't be, I'm glad I won't be around you later. <laughs> and I tried to get away from myself that day, but it didn't work out. I had to stay with myself all day. So what about them beans, man? Delicious. Um, See that red? There's some red pepper in there. Not uh, really. Kind of a sweetness. I'm definitely going to have to add some of this hot sauce to it. Because, you know, I like it spicy. Mm -hmm. But they're really good. and uh, I'm impressed. Especially with those turkey ribs. So. Right. Now, what I've been really looking forward to. Of course, this is big, big enough. White lightning sauce. What they're known for. And you know, when I did this review a couple years ago with Coach Henley, I don't think I had any white lightning sauce. I have to watch that again and refer back to it. Mm. So moist, juicy, tasty. It's hard to believe it's turkey, isn't it? Young lady, yes. is this actually the rib out of a turkey? It is. The there we have it. The collarbone off the turkey. So it is a rib. I guess. Mm. I know you haven't tried this yet, but I think you should try some of this dry rub. It's delicious. I'll eat that with the gristle. Mm. Well, I just suggested that. I want to put some of that on my potato salad. Mmm. This is one of the best things you're ever going to have as far as barbecue game goes. And outside of Louisville, I don't think I've seen turkey ribs on a menu anywhere. And the only other place I know of in Louisville that even has turkey ribs is Holy Smoke Barbecue on Preston. They have good ones too. All right. Now, Coach Henley made me come here because he said they got the best baby back ribs in town. So... I'm going to taste them without the hot sauce first. Woo <laughs> These are meaty and juicy. All right. Now that I had it plain, I'll try it with some of this. Oh, it says sweet, but I'll try it anyway. I feel like I got something on my face. You do. I was going to let it ride. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
you know it ain't good if you can't get messy. All right, so my last item. Let's see if we can get in there. I got the brisket. That's another thing, brisket. You gotta be careful. If it sits for a while, it can it can get dry. But this one don't look dry. But I'll let you know here in just a second. And by the way, that uh, seasoning that they have there did go perfectly on the potato salad and the beans. I'll tell you what, even though these are sliders, I'd, I'd say there's probably about a, close to a quarter, a quarter pound of meat on it. Look at all that just came off that set sandwich. There. I could make a half a slider out of that. All right, here we go. Oh, I forgot. Once for the plate haters. You know, I couldn't disappoint. You know what you could do is take that leftover brisket, mix it with leftover grease to get baked beans. Good idea. And you know I'm on it. It's always nice to have a good side kick, keep it straight. Just about got her. Or you could sop up some of the beans with that bread there. I should have went ahead and did a quadruple just to finish that. I'll tell you what, these beans, I ain't going to say that they're the best. I hate to always do that, but... I would love to challenge somebody to tell me where better beans are than this. I want to do what Ryan said. I want to do. I want to call these cowboy style baked beans with briskets. Oops. Ryan, you might have just invented something here. You down it. Now accentuate a little. Mm. Oh, I gotta do a bite like my friend Mark Sellers did. We was in that Joe Bologna's review. Mm. Mm. I turned away just for a second, come back, and he's already done with that turkey gotta, rib. Gotta clean the meat off, you know? Why didn't get meat that good? Gotta eat it all. It looks like there's at least a quarter pound of meat on each one of those turkey ribs. Oh, yeah. All right. Thank you, young lady. You're welcome. We're going to finish up here, and then we're going to go outside, give you some final thoughts, and also don't go away, because I am going to review that little Girl Scout's Thin Mint Cookies out there. Wow. Okay. Now uh, we've got the young ladies on... Uh, camera. I won't, now it's time for the other young ladies to be on camera. All right. So, can you tell me about what you're uh, set up here for? Yeah, we're girls selling our Girl Scout cookies here today. I'm Sandy Lawson with Troop 688, and we're just set up here in front of Shock in the Back selling with their good barbecue, selling Girl Scout cookies for dessert. And next Friday night, we will be up at Dairy Queen here in Fairdale on uh, Mount Holly Road and Fairdale Road selling Girl Scout cookies again. Okay, that sounds great. All right, any y'all uh, other young ladies have anything you want to say? We enjoy it. Come see us. Woo! All right. So now that we've got the introductions out of the way, I want to get a box of these thin mints. So only six dollars for a whole box of thin mints. And also, I came prepared. Pan over there on that bench. 
That is an ice cold cup of milk that I got before we left out because you know you cannot have cookies without milk. All right, here's the moment of truth. Go ahead there, Ryan, get you one. Wasn't no sooner than I stepped up to get the cookies, big crowd came up behind me. They're selling like hotcakes over here. As I said, Thin Mint, I don't like peanut butter. You know, most a lot of those good ones that they talk about, Tagalongs. Do Tagalongs have peanut butter? Yes. Yeah, I always stuck to the Thin Mints. Mmm. Wash it down with just cold milk. Like an after dinner mint. Perfect. Perfect compliment to that great barbecue dinner we just had. And don't forget, get out here next weekend, Friday night, right across the street, down there at the Dairy Queen. Can't miss it. Support your local Girl Scout troop. All right, what'd you think about our dinner over here? That was delicious. You know, I, I was I was wondering turkey, turkey ribs, you know. I mean, turkey is just so dry and dense. Those turkey ribs, they could have been pork as far as how tender they were. Delicious. Oh, yes? Delicious. Um, big portion. I'm leaving here full. I'll go home, take a nap. Maybe watch a movie. It's starting to get cool out, cloudy, and a little bit of a breeze, so be a good day for you. <sighs> Man, I'll tell you what, there ain't much, much better than some thin mints and cold milk. Anyway, my, my dinner was awesome. We called it perfect. We came in in between lunch and dinner. The place was still full. It was like 3 or 3.30. And then right when we were leaving, all of a sudden there was a line of people out the door. So you might want to time your visit, especially on a Saturday. You might want to come real early or hit it in between. Otherwise, you know, you might have to wait for a table. So anyway, support your local restaurants. This is family owned and operated, hands on. The owner's in there greeting people and serving tables herself. So with that, y'all don't know nothing about this shack in the back barbecue. Rock and roll. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.